Before we had drugstores and pills for every little problem, people had one option, figure out medicine from the plants around them. No doctors on call, no antibiotics, just trial and error. And here's the wild part. Many of those remedies actually worked. Today, we're digging into 15 forgotten medicinal herbs that aren't just folklore. Modern science now proves they really do what our ancestors claim. Number 15, Solomon's Seal. With a name straight out of a fantasy tale, Solomon's Seal was the go-to remedy for joint pain and sprains. Healers crushed the root into poultices or brewed it into teas. The root shows little scars, said to resemble King Solomon's seal. Older roots were considered more powerful. Modern science confirms it contains saponins, natural anti-inflammatories that support joints and tissue. In Chinese medicine, it's still used as yuju to nourish fluids and calm the spirit. Wild plants are over-harvested, so stick to cultivated sources. A cool name, proven effects. This herb shows ancient healers were onto something. Number 14, meadow sweet. Long before aspirin came in pill form, people were using meadow sweet. This sweet smelling flower contains salicylic acid, the same compound that aspirin is based on. In fact, aspirin got its name from meadow sweet's old scientific name, spirea. Healers once called it nature's aspirin, and they weren't wrong. It helped with fevers, headaches, and joint pain. But unlike synthetic aspirin, Meadowsweet has natural compounds that protect your stomach lining, meaning it's gentler on digestion. In medieval Europe, people even scattered meadowsweet on their floors to freshen the air and repel insects. And today, science backs up its reputation. Studies confirm it reduces inflammation and soothes digestion. So the next time you reach for an aspirin, just remember, meadowsweet walked so aspirin could run. Number 13, self-heal. With a name like Self-Heal, you'd expect this little purple flower to be special. And it is. Known also as Heal All, this herb was used for cuts, sore throats, and even eye problems. It grows almost everywhere – lawns, fields, roadsides – and cultures around the world have used it for healing. Traditional Chinese medicine still uses it today under the name Xia Ku Chao, while European folk medicine brewed it into teas and poultices. Modern studies now show self-heal is rich in antioxidants and has both antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. In simple terms, it helps fight infections and calms irritation. It's one of those humble weeds that turns out to be an herbal superhero. Number 12. Plantain. Not the tropical fruit. We're talking about the low-growing weed in your yard. This version of plantain has earned the nickname Nature's Bandage. If you've ever been bitten by a mosquito, stung by a bee, or scratched your knee while hiking, chewing up a leaf and pressing it on the spot can bring quick relief. That's because plantain contains allantoin, which helps your skin regenerate, plus mucilage, a gel-like compound that protects and soothes. It even helps draw out splinters and stingers. Native Americans noticed how Europeans always carried this plant, so they called it white man's footprint. Today, researchers confirm plantain speeds wound healing and fights bacteria. And the best part? It's probably growing right outside your door. Number 11. Calendula. You might recognize calendula by its bright orange and yellow petals, often grown in gardens just for decoration. But this flower is also one of the gentlest, yet most effective skin healers we know. Calendula's compounds reduce inflammation and boost collagen production, which helps wounds heal faster. Herbalists used it for everything from cuts to rashes, and it's so mild that it's even safe for babies. Modern skincare has caught on. You'll find calendula in creams, oils, and even baby lotions. So while it looks like a simple flower, calendula is basically nature's soothing ointment. Number 10. Marshmallow Root Yes, marshmallows were once medicinal. The original recipe came from the marshmallow plant, whose root is packed with mucilage. This gooey substance coats and soothes irritated tissues, which made it perfect for coughs, sore throats, and stomach troubles. Think of it as an herbal throat lozenge. Today, studies confirm marshmallow root calms inflammation and helps with ulcers, bronchitis, and even skin irritation. It's often brewed into teas or made into syrups, a far cry from the sugary marshmallows we roast over campfire. Number nine. Yarrow. If there's one plant that deserves a warrior's reputation, it's yarrow. Legend says Achilles used it to treat his soldiers' wounds in the Trojan War, which is why it's sometimes called Herba Militaris, or the soldier's herb. 
Yarrow can stop bleeding when applied directly to cuts. But when taken as tea, it helps regulate blood flow and even reduce fevers. Science confirms it has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial powers, making it just as relevant today as it was on ancient battlefields. Not bad for a plant that grows freely along roadsides. Number 8. Echinacea Here's one you've probably seen in health stores. Echinacea, or purple coneflower. Native Americans used it for almost everything. Snake bites, toothaches, infections. When settlers learned about it, it quickly became one of the most popular remedies in early America. Echinacea works by stimulating the immune system. Modern research suggests it can help reduce the severity and duration of colds and other infections. It's not a cure-all, but it's a great example of traditional knowledge later backed by science. Number 7. Elderberry. Dark, juicy, and powerful. That's elderberry. For centuries, people have made syrups and wines from these berries to treat coughs and colds. They're packed with antioxidants called anthocyanins, which fight inflammation and support the immune system. Today, studies show elderberry extract can actually shorten the length of flu symptoms. No wonder it's one of the most popular natural remedies in the world right now. Just remember, raw elderberries can upset your stomach, so they should always be cooked before use. Number 6. Willow Bark if meadowsweet was nature's aspirin, willow bark was its twin. Ancient healers brewed it into teas for pain, fever, and inflammation. That's because willow bark contains salicin, which the body converts into salicylic acid, the same base compound as aspirin. The difference? Willow bark is often gentler and slower acting, but with fewer side effects. Modern studies confirm it helps with headaches, arthritis, and back pain. In a way, every time you pop an aspirin, you're continuing a tradition that started thousands of years ago with a simple piece of bark. Number 5. Ginkgo biloba Often called a living fossil, ginkgo is the last survivor of an ancient tree family that lived alongside dinosaurs. In traditional Chinese medicine, ginkgo leaves were used for lung problems and circulation. Today, it's best known for supporting brain health. Ginkgo improves blood flow to the brain and has strong antioxidant effects which is why it's often taken to boost memory and focus. Some studies even suggest it may help with dementia and tinnitus. Not bad for a tree that's been around for 200 million years. Number 4. Milk Thistle When it comes to liver health, milk thistle reigns supreme. Used since ancient Greece and Rome, milk thistle seeds contain silymarin, a compound that protects and even helps regenerate liver cells. It was traditionally used for jaundice and gallbladder issues. But today, studies show it may help with hepatitis, cirrhosis, and even fatty liver disease. If your liver could pick one herb as its best friend, it would probably be this one. Number 3. Turmeric You've seen it in curries, but turmeric is far more than a spice. In Ayurveda and Chinese medicine, it's been used for thousands of years as a powerful anti-inflammatory. Its active compound, curcumin, is so potent that studies compare it to pharmaceutical drugs. But without the harsh side effects, turmeric supports joint health, digestion, heart health, and even mood. Pair it with black pepper for better absorption, just like traditional recipes did. It's no wonder turmeric has exploded in popularity. Golden milk lattes, supplements, you name it. This herb is here to stay. Number 2. Ginseng Known as the king of herbs, ginseng has been treasured in Asia for thousands of years. Its roots contain compounds called ginsenicides, which make it an adaptogen, meaning it helps your body handle stress, boost energy, and stay balanced. Ginseng was so valuable in the past that entire wars were fought over it, and modern research backs the hype. It improves energy, brain function, immune health, and even physical performance. But beware, wild ginseng is incredibly rare and expensive today. Most people use cultivated varieties in Number 1. Ashwagandha at the very top of our list is ashwagandha, a superstar of Ayurvedic medicine. For over 3,000 years, it's been used as a rasayana, or rejuvenating tonic, to build strength, reduce stress, and improve vitality. The name literally means smell of horse, symbolizing the stamina it's believed to give. Modern studies show ashwagandha reduces stress, improves sleep, boosts testosterone, and even enhances muscle growth. Unlike many herbs, it's been tested in high-quality human trials. 
and the results are impressive. No wonder it's experiencing a huge comeback in modern wellness. And there you have it, 15 forgotten medicinal herbs that actually work. These plants aren't magic bullets, and they're not replacements for modern medicine. But they do remind us that healing doesn't always have to come from a pill bottle. So which one surprised you the most? Or do you already use some of these herbs in your daily life? Let me know down below. I love reading your story.